Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really amazing things that you can do on your iOS 14 device and probably didn't even know about. Now, iOS 14 is pretty amazing. Once you install it on your device, you will see that it will change the way you use your iPhone. It's pretty different from iOS 13 and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. So here are 15 things that you can do on your iOS 14 device and probably didn't know about. First of all, you can create some really amazing set Setups that will make your device look really really different you can see the setup that i have here on the home screen of my device now here on the right side i have my icons and i have widgets here which basically are three shortcuts these are widgets from the shortcuts app now here not only it looks cool but also it's very very useful i have here three different shortcuts that i can run directly from the home screen so i have bluetooth wi-fi and adjust clipboard so with bluetooth and wi-fi i can go ahead and from here turn off bluetooth or wi-fi completely you know that to do that you will need to go to the settings app you cannot do that from the control center now from here i will be able to do that directly from the shortcut from the home screen i can adjust the clipboard anything that i have saved on the clipboard i can go Go ahead and just adjust it right here which is really really cool and of course it looks very different and very interesting now utilizing the widgets of ios 14 the widgets on the home screen you can go ahead and create some really amazing setups on your device and make your device stand out and look really really different now if you're interested to creating this kind of setup i will leave this wallpaper link right down below in the description of the video. On iOS 14, Apple has added some very useful automations. One of them in particular is my favorite. So you go to shortcuts app, you go to automations, create personal automations, scroll down, and here is battery level. Now this allows you to perform an action. Basically your device will perform an automated action once the battery level equals the percentage that you set rises above or falls below 50% or whatever you set right here with this slider. So let's say you want the low power mode to be automatically enabled once the battery reaches 50%. You just set the level right there, falls below, click next and go ahead and choose the action. So on the search bar, just search for low power mode, tap right here, set low power mode on, tap next, ask before running you go ahead and disable that so it will be run automatically without asking you click done and now you have the automation created now every time the battery falls below 50 percent it will automatically turn on the low power mode with ios 14 apple has introduced the new app library which is really really cool i really like it and it's very easy to find different apps that you might need so you can move apps from the home screen remove them from the home screen and just have them on the app library but you can also do that with folders so you have a bunch of like apps on a folder you don't need to go ahead and remove all of them one by one you just go ahead and 3d touch on that folder tap on remove folder and just tap here remove from the home screen and all the apps that are on that folder will be removed to the app library and won't be anymore on your home screen now when you go to the app library here we have some really cool features did you know that you can tap the search bar right there and you can search for any name of the company that is making apps like for example if i search there google it will show me all the apps that google has created and of course that i have here installed on my device also, when searching, you will have here the letters. You can tap to each of them to go to the section of that letter. And of course, just see the apps that its name starts with that letter. Or you can just slide like this right there on the letters to quickly move up and down on the list of apps that you have installed on your device. Now, if you want to move any of the apps from the app library back to the home screen, the easiest way is to search that app. So let's just search here for any app like let's just go for google here so if i want to move google maps the easiest way will be from the search results so just tap right there and just like that you can move it anywhere you want on the home screen of your device a very cool feature that apple has introduced with ipad os 14 is shape recognition but that also works on your iphone it is really really cool so let's say i would take a screenshot here i want to like mark up something right here i can make a circle tap and hold right there and you can see it will actually go ahead and just change the shape there and make it like a real circle so just like that tap and hold and you're good to go it recognizes a bunch of different shapes so you go ahead and do like little arrows and everything you want just like that you can see like a square maybe 
it works pretty pretty well and of course it's very very accurate so a lot of people might think that this will only work with the ipad as apple has presented it on wwdc but it also works on your iphone so shape recognition very cool feature and of course will make your mockups look way more professional a very cool thing on the weather app with ios 14 that you might not know you can do is that now you can take a look at weather on different cities without having to add that city to the list right here so if we just go ahead and search for a city so let's just search for san francisco okay i can go ahead and tap right there just go ahead take a look at the weather whatever i need to take a look at and then just swipe it down or click cancel you will have the add button right there but you don't need to actually add the city in order to view the weather forecast for that city and that's really really cool another really cool thing that you can do with ios 14 is have weather for multiple cities on the widgets on the home screen so you can see right here i have weather for new york i have london and i have copertino as well but the cool thing is that you don't need to have these widgets just laying around on the home screen of your ios 14 device now i like mostly the two by two widgets they look better and of course they are more compact so i just want to add like three or four cities all i have to do here is just go ahead and basically choose the cities that i want to see on each of these widgets and then just go ahead and swipe like that to switch between different cities whenever i want to take a look at the weather of that city so basically if you want to have multiple cities on the home screen but still just use the two by two widget on the home screen you can go ahead and create this stack you can do the same for the clock here and it looks really really cool very compact and of course you will have a bunch of different information now when you go ahead and tap let's say here on new york it will take you to the weather app and it will take you to new york on that case or i can go ahead and maybe just go ahead and tap london and it will take me to london so that's really really cool as you probably know on ios 14 you can go ahead and search emojis so you go to the emoji keyboard to tap right there and you will be able to search for any emoji that you want now what you can do here is just let's just go ahead and search for an emoji here so you can see here we have basically this yellow stock color of the emojis if you want to change that while using it from the search bar here you just go ahead tap right there and you will get all the different options that you can use from here and just go ahead and tap and use whichever you want so when you use it like that the next time it will be remembered right here with the color that you have used again if you want to change that you just go ahead tap and choose any color you want now really interesting thing on ios 13 and previous ios versions was that you could just tap right here on the corners to move between different pages on the home screen of your device now with ios 14 as you can see that doesn't work but you can still do that simply by tapping right here just like at the dots right here just close to the dots you can tap like that and you will be able to move between different pages on the home screen of your iphone now on the home screen of your ios 14 device it's very easy to go to the edit mode you just tap and hold anywhere on the screen and just like that you will enter edit mode but when you want to get out of it you don't have to reach for the top to tap the dumb button just tap anywhere on the screen and just like that you will exit the edit mode on the notes app on ios 14 now you will be able to create folders within folders so here i have a folder and right here you can see i have another one within that folder which is really really cool of course and will make it much much easier for you to organize your folders now i can move that folder simply by tapping the edit button so here is the subfolder is on test and i can put it right there on finished simply by just going ahead and releasing it over it just like you do when with apps when you want to create a folder as easy as that you can go ahead and move folders between different folders another cool thing is that on notes now if you tap right here you will have the option to go ahead and sort notes by oldest to newest newest to oldest or by title date created date edited and the date edited will also be the default so you can choose any of these options to go ahead and rearrange the notes that you have on any of your folders if you're using the shortcuts widget on the home screen of your ios 14 device you will see on the 2x4 layout you will have four different shortcuts right there which you can run of course now the 
these won't just appear there randomly. You can go ahead and open the shortcuts app and from here you will be able to create a new folder. So tap right there to create a new folder and then add any of your shortcuts to that folder. Here I have a folder called test with four different like shortcuts. I can go ahead and tap and hold here on the widget. Go ahead and tap on edit widget tap here and I will be able to select that folder and then the widgets from that folder will appear right there. And last but not least, the voice recording app. It has a very cool new feature. So you go to any of your voice recordings and go ahead and tap on the edit button. Right there you will see a button which allows to enhance this recording by removing the background noise. You just tap right there, make sure it's blue, a square like that tab done and you're good to go. Everything will be done automatically and this will enhance the voice recording that you have done. So that is it for this video guys. These are some really cool things that you can do on iOS 14 that you might not know about them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new about iOS 14 today. Go ahead, leave a like if you did enjoy the video and I will see you on the next one.